What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 26 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway Tutorial. In this tutorial, I will take you through on how to upload files from the front end using HTML and the API Gateway along with the Lambda function. So we can say that this is the extension of the part 13 of this tutorial series. So basically, uh, the difference is that within part 13 of this tutorial series, we were uploading a file using Postman. And in this tutorial, we are going to create an HTML file to upload the file and build this functionality. Apart from that, we will also upload that index.html file on the S3 bucket. And we will use the static hosting of that S3 bucket to upload a file. So that's the difference between part 13 and this tutorial. So I have posted the link of part 13 in the video description. So if you want to refer, you can just look out for that link. So probably we will start with the creation of the Lambda function followed by creation of resources and the method. And then finally we will create an HTML file. Finally, we will host that file on the S3 bucket. So let's start with the Lambda function. So navigate to Lambda management console. So once you are within Lambda management console, click on create function, give a function name. I will say upload HTML API, something like this. I will select runtime as Python 3.8 and within permission, I will choose an existing role that is Lambda underscore API underscore gateway underscore role. Basically it's hyphen and I will say create function. Just make sure that this role or whichever role you are attaching with this Lambda function have the right permission for the S3 bucket. So here we are going to copy and paste the code uh, that basically belongs to part 13. I will also paste the link of this file in the video description. So I will copy this and paste it over here. So here we will change few things. That is line number 18. So while we upload a file from Postman or using Postman, the content type is kind of camel case, but while we do it from browser, it's lowercase so we will change that content type and the other thing we will change is the bucket name so in my case i will say upload hyphen api hyphen tutorial so basically this is the bucket name in which i want to upload my file and i will comment line number 40 because here we are not going to pass any sort of metadata right so save this Now, once you are done with this Lambda function, navigate back to the API gateway. So here I have created the API gateway that is demo API. So here I am going to create resource followed by the method. So click on resources from the left panel, say action, say create resource, give it a name. I will say upload and say create resource. Now, once the resource is created again, click on action, say create method. We will say post and click on this tick mark. Now here we are going to choose an integration type. So that's going to be the Lambda function. We will use the proxy integration. We will copy and paste the name of this Lambda function that we have just created. And we will say save. Okay. And I think we are done with the configuration of the method. But apart from that, we need to make one more change that is click on settings from the left panel within binary media types, say add binary media type. And here we will say multi part slash form data, multi part slash form hyphen data, right? So basically this will convert the binary data into base 64, right? So save this. So this will basically tell the API gateway that uh, which content type should be treated as binary type or which media type should be treated as the binary type. So we want the API gateway to treat multi-part form data as a binary type. So that's the reason uh, we are adding this. So add it over here, save changes. In case you are uh, using applications less PDF or something like that, then make sure you add that content type over here and save changes. 
and once you are done with that i think we will go ahead and deploy the api so click on actions say deploy api select the deployment stage so here i am going to create a new stage because i don't have any existing stage give it a name i will say version 1 and say deploy now the api is deployed now the next step is to create the html page so i have this directory so within this directory i will say new file and i will save this i will say index.html and we will say html within that give it a title i will say upload file functionality I will put h3 header we will copy and paste this header close then we will say form now here as a part of form attributes we will say method equal to post say enc type as multi part slash form data and finally we will define action now within action we have to mention the API endpoint URL. So we will go back to API Gateway. We will copy this invocation URL and we will paste it over here, followed by the resource name that is upload. Correct. And we are done with the attributes of the form. Now we will say select file, something like this. Then we will define input. We will say type equal to file because we want to upload some file and we will name it as file and finally we will say input again and the type will be submit you can uh, put it as button or something else we will say name as submit comma sorry not comma value equal to upload and i think it looks good i think we are done okay so let's try to load this file in the browser so I'll simply drag and drop over here and it looks something like this let's try to upload it locally let me choose a file oh maybe before that uh, let's open the s3 bucket in which we want to upload a file so I will navigate to S3. So if you remember then I had mentioned upload API tutorial. So this is the bucket in which I want to upload a file. So I will search for it, upload API tutorial. Here it is. And in this bucket, I want to upload the file, correct? So let's go back to the HTML page. I will say choose file. I will say this paypal.png and I will say upload. So as you can see, we have a message saying file uploaded successfully. So basically that is coming from this json.dumps file uploaded successfully. And now we can go back to S3 bucket and have a look. Let me reload this. let's sort it by last modified and as you can see uh, it says paypal.png and here we have a file correct so this is how you can upload a file using html locally but as a next step let's create a new bucket so that we can host this file or use it as static hosting right so i will say create bucket i'll say host a file and i will say create
let me reload this maybe the bucket is created but it's not reflecting let me search for it host yeah here it is host a file so the very first thing that we have to do is navigate to properties within that bucket select or click on static web hosting and we will say use this bucket to host a website so select that within index document we want it as index.html so this is basically the file name that we are going to upload right if you want to reflect any error document, then you can upload the error.html file or any other file and name it over here. And rest of the option, we will leave it as it is. We will say save. And basically this is the endpoint or this is the URL that we will be using to load that index.html file or the upload functionality. Correct, but before that, navigate to permission, click on bucket policy. So here uh, we are going to write a bucket policy. So basically using bucket policy, we are going to tell that uh, we want the object or the files that are going to be uploaded in the host to file bucket should be accessible uh, via public, right? Because while we load that URL, uh, we should also be able to load the objects within this file, right? So we will be using policy generator. So just scroll down and click on this policy generator. So here we will select the type of policy as S3 bucket policy. We want to allow, so effect is going to allow. Mention principle as asterisk. Here AWS services is already selected, that is Amazon S3. Within action, what we want to do? We want to allow get object. So search for it. And here it is, that is get object. And we need to mention here the ARN of the S3 bucket. So I'm going to copy this. Oops, maybe let's copy it from S3 bucket itself. So here it is. Copy and paste. And we will say add statement. And we will say generate a policy. So copy this, come back to S3. Paste it over here, say save. So it says uh, action does not apply to any resources in a statement. So yeah, uh, we need to mention resource as slash asterisk and save this. So it says access denied. The reason is that we need to enable public access. So before saving this policy, click on block public access, say edit, uncheck this, say save, confirm, confirm. And once this is done, click on bucket policy again, paste that policy over here, say save. And it will give you a warning saying the bucket has a public access and blah, 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 right? So once you are done with this, click on overview, upload the index.html file. I will upload it from here. Upload. Now click on properties, static web hosting. Just copy this endpoint URL and let's load it so here we have that functionality up and running via s3 bucket right now let me rename this file let me say paypal1.png choose a file paypal1.png we will say upload And here we have a message saying file uploaded successfully. Let's go ahead and check it. So navigate to that bucket that is upload API tutorial in my case. And let's sort it by last modified. And here we have a file that is paypal1.png. 
So basically, this is how you can upload a file from front end using HTML and API gateway along with Lambda function as a backend. Right, so well, uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. And till that time, if you want me to do a tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.